about to step foot on Puerto Rico. <laughs> Officially in Puerto Rico, we're gonna walk around San Juan a little bit, see some forts, see the capital, and then definitely we have to try some rum. I don't know if I've ever been so excited to go to a place that's still technically in the United States. You don't need a visa to come here and you don't even need your passport if you want to come here. If you're a United States citizen, that is. So far, San Juan looks very pretty right on the water. My favorite big city that we've been to is Lima because it was like right on the water like San Juan is. So I have a good feeling about this place. We left the ocean and we got on a main road to start walking to some of the places. We were thinking it was gonna be a lot more chaotic with more people and more cars, but as you can see, there's only a couple cars passing us. And like, there's no people on the sidewalks. It's just us. It feels really peaceful for some reason. Pretty cool. This little bit of shade right here in the palm tree feels good. This is the Capitol building in San Juan. It's really cool that there's a United States flag and a Puerto Rico flag. And it even has a quote by Abraham Lincoln right on the center. And uh, it's closed for construction right now, so we won't be able to go in. This area around the Capitol is very pretty. There's lots of little waterfalls and flowers and trees. I'm really digging it. I don't know if this is completely true, but I believe that this Capitol building houses the House and Senate, uh, just like another state in the Union. And this is the walkway of the president. So right here is uh, Theodore Roosevelt, Herbert Hoover, and then there's plenty other presidents down there. We aren't like in deep downtown San Juan, but from what I can tell, San Juan is very clean, which if you know me, you know that I really like clean cities. We were walking by and we're like, that's a cool building, what is it? And it says Casa de España right on there. I looked it up and I think it's just basically a wedding venue at this point for people of Spanish descent. And that's the case because Spain used to own Puerto Rico. Behind me here is Carnegie Library. I don't think there's anything like special about it. I just liked it because it's pink and pretty. This is the really cool old fortress that we saw from the boat and I don't know if it costs money, but if it's free, we're probably gonna go in. We found out that it's actually called San Cristobal Castle. Well, it looks like the doors are shut because they close in less than an hour. So I guess that makes sense. We won't be going inside to explore. I was uh, thinking about the last time we visited a fortress in Luxembourg and that one was really cool. So we won't get to explore this one, but I liked looking at the outside. We're now getting a lot closer to the main downtown area with all the shops and the buildings are starting to look really cool. There's a lot of souvenir shops that we're just passing by. And so, yes, this is a lot busier, but it also looks pretty beautiful. And there's shade. We came here because Google Maps told us that it was a notable area and I think it is absolutely gorgeous with all the bright buildings and the blue water behind us. It is just amazing. Wow, well, look at all the pigeons. Oh, Jenny, they almost pooped on me. We gotta hurry up, whatever we're doing here. 
TikTok and Instagram. I am obsessed with all these buildings that look like this in San Juan. I just love the different pastel colors and just the style. It's so pretty. Now we are gonna go try to find some rum drinks. Puerto Rico is famous for their rum and some people even call it the rum capital of the Caribbean. Which is really saying something because the whole Caribbean is known for their rum. So let's go find some. And we believe we've already been into the place where rum was created in Barbados. We found a place that has Puerto Rican rum. It looks nice. The music is quiet and they might have empanadas here. Of course, I had to get a mojito. We got the Puerto Rican rum Don Julio. Let's see how good it tastes. Mmm. Oh, that's a good mojito. Just the right amount of lime, too. I messed up. Don Julio is not a rum. That is a tequila, I think from Mexico. The rum that we're drinking is Don Q. Jacob got his blended and it is much bigger than mine. It was so hot outside, I was like, I'm just gonna get a frozen mojito. And wow, the size of it. <laughs> let's see, let's taste it. It's mango. Oh, that's amazing. It kinda just tastes like a mango smoothie. This is Okay, perfect, thank you. These empanadas are huge. These are not empanadas. One of the main reasons we ordered them is because it said they were Puerto Rican, Pesta yields and uh, they're big. They're huge. Here's my hand for a comparison. They're like the size of my hand. Chicken beef. All right, so there you go. You can see there's beef in there. So what? Uh, oh yeah. That might be the best empanada type food that we've eaten ever. This is the chicken one. Ooh, that one smells good. I can smell it. Well, beef one's better. I got a Samtini. I just wanted to try another drink that had the Don Q rum in it. Oh, it's pretty good. Uh, it's kind of like Kind of tastes mango-y, actually. We learned that Bacardi is also Puerto Rican, which is cool because that's the one we normally drink because it's the cheapest. Apparently, you can walk around the streets of Puerto Rico with alcohol, so we stopped to get one more mojito because it was two for one and it was only like 8.50, so we got two mojitos for 8.50 and now we're just walking around enjoying our last minutes in Puerto Rico. <laughs> 